Are you doing half locus wrong and you don't even know it? Bad habits creep in over time either due to complacency or maybe we never learned this pose quite right mm, the first time. Regardless of the reason, we are going to examine the three biggest mistakes in your half locus pose and how to fix them. Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Landon Slaughter, helping you discover a fun and consistent at-home yoga practice. Today, let's take a short journey through your half locus, identify some of the biggest mistakes and how we can fix these issues. Let's get started, right? Meow. This pose is called half locus, not beached whale pose. <coughs> <coughs> Rather than trying to force your hands underneath, here is a good modified version of this pose. Rather than forcing those arms underneath, modify by bringing your left hand down, lift your left leg, and lift your right arm. Then switching sides into the opposite side, you'll still get that strengthening in your back you want from this pose. You may have not heard when the teacher said palms down on the mat. Let's just avoid the temptation to diddle. Oh, my bad, sorry. Keep your hands palms down on the mat. It gives us a lot more leverage to be able to lift our legs. Keeping your palms down really gives you a lot more leverage to lift those legs here in your half locus. And let's face it, palms up? Well, we're not doing mm, that kind of yoga. Again, this is called half locus pose, not double tail stinging scorpion pose. Rather than having each leg flail on out, let's bring them together and keep them together. Keeping both legs together as you lift both of them up is not only good form, it really helps for more advanced poses, such as chin stand and forearm stand, of which I'm not going to do for you, well, right now. If you are not already a subscriber, hit that bell and subscribe. Lastly, if you want to dive deep into your half locus pose, check out this next video where I go into much more depth. My name's Landon Slaughter, helping you discover a fun and consistent at-home yoga practice. Open the description below, dive into a brand new themed yoga challenge every single month, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and namaste.